There sure are a lot of people coming in here this morning. I've never seen this much activity before here in the garden. What? Why? Why are you people here this morning? What? I mean, did you hear what happened earlier? I mean, it was a great thing, wasn't it? I wish I would have been here to see it because I hear it was just a miraculous, miraculous undertaking. I heard about this woman. What, what was her name? Her name was Martha. No, Mary. It was Mary. Mary. She came to the. She came here to the garden. There was a. There was a tomb for that guy over there. Joshua, Jacob, Jesus. Yeah, that, maybe that's it. Maybe it was Jesus. There was a tomb over there, and this woman, Mary, she came to look at it. And when she got close to it, supposedly she said that the, the stone was rolled away from the front of it. And so she ran away to go get some, some of the, this Jesus' fellow's followers and brought him back. And they came back, and they looked in the tomb, and they didn't find him. And then Mary, this woman, was standing there weeping. And, and this is the reason I love this story, because... She thought that I was Jesus. <laughs> really me? Just a simple little gardener here in this, in this place trying to help take care of this thing. But she turned around and she saw this man standing there and she was weeping. And, and he asked her, why was she weeping? And she said, because you've taken, somebody's taken my Lord. And if you've taken him, please tell me where you've put him so that I can go and find him and, and take care of him. That is why I came here this morning, because it's our ritual to help take care of our dead. And she came to give him respect. And she came to show him how much she loved him. And in that moment when she was completely distraught and weeping and not knowing how her world was going to go on, he said her name. He called out by her name. Mary. And in that instant, her eyes were open, and rather than seeing me, which she shouldn't have seen me for him anyhow, I mean, my goodness, I'm not anything like Jesus. But at that moment, when he said her name, she knew exactly who he was, and she fell to her knees and she cried out, Teacher, teacher. It was the love of her life. The, the one who had, she had been with for three years, the one who she'd walked with, was back. And now we have all of you people coming back into this garden this morning. This is the most people this garden has ever seen, ever, in one day, come through. We don't hardly ever get three, three visitors, let alone this many people coming through. This story is going to live forever. Not only because... This man rose from the dead, but because he called this woman by name, this woman who most people wouldn't have given the time of day. And she went back to tell the disciples. I hear later she went back, she ran back, and she didn't tell the disciples that their Lord had risen. She didn't tell them that, that he wasn't any longer in the tomb, that he was alive. He said, she said to them, I have seen the Lord. And oh, I wish I could have been here so that I would have seen him too. I wish I could say that I have seen Jesus. I wish that he would have said my name. Wouldn't that have been great? But you know what? Maybe he did say my name. And maybe I have seen Jesus. I mean, really, the reason that all of you are here is to find out if this story is true, right? To come to the garden, to see the place where he was laid, to see the tomb in which he was dead. To find it empty. And to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that he's no longer there. But does that mean that he actually rose? If you don't see him, how do you know? I can tell you how you can know. Because that woman knew beyond the shadow of a doubt when he called her by name that that's who it was. And she went back to the disciples and didn't give them an idle tale, but said, I have seen him. He's right here. I see him right now. In the eyes of each and every one of you. I see him in the actions that we take 
in the way that we seek after Him. So we all can say, like Mary, not that Jesus is risen, but I have seen the Lord and He has called me by name. And that, my friends, is the most important and precious thing that any of us could ever claim in all of our lives. Yes, this man who once was dead, who was beaten and scorned for, for us, who was, who was tried on a trumped up charge and put to death and laid in that tomb that couldn't hold him, called you by name. And that is the sweetest sound in all of the world. To hear that man say your name in a way that shows how much he loves you and cares for you. That is the most important message to share on this day and our lives. Not that Jesus is risen, but that I have seen the Lord. And oh, how much he loves us. Loves me. Loves you. I have seen the Lord. Have you?